bring you guys the NFC East post-draft grades. I'm going to start off with the Super Bowl champion, New York Giants. They went with David Wilson in the first round of running back. Uh, David Wilson was maybe the fourth or fifth best running back, in my opinion, in this draft. Um, and I didn't have, I did not have him as a first round draft prospect. But ultimately, the um, the Giants took a shot on him. He was a third running back off the board. I believe the pick does make sense. Uh, Brandon Jacobs made his departure to the 49ers. They needed a second running back behind Ahmad Bradshaw. They're going to have that one-two punch now uh, for for Eli Manning to hand the ball off to. So the pick makes sense. I like it. Reuben Randall in the second round. I thought he could go as high as the, as the top of the second round to the Colts or the Rams. I know they needed wide receiver help, but he fell to the to the Giants late in the second. I like the pick. Mario Manningham made his departure. Reuben Randall will fit in perfectly in that offense, and uh, he will be um, uh, the third number three wide receiver on the roster behind Victor Cruz and Hakeem Nix. Uh, third. Third round pick for the Giants, Jerron Hosley, the cornerback. Aaron Ross made his departure to the Jaguars. They needed more cornerback depth on the roster, so that pick makes sense. Adrian Robinson, the tight end in the fourth round, that pick makes sense because they need tight end depth. Uh, Jacob Ballard was their tight end this last season. He's a free agent, and he's going to need season-ending surgery. Um, so he's not going to play it for any team in the 2012 season. They needed tight end depth. Then they finished off their draft with a couple off offensive linemen and a defensive tackle in the seventh round. I, I believe overall, I know they filled needs. Um, I'm not giving the Giants an A because it was not a spectacular draft, but I, I will give them a solid B. Um, some of the guys, you know, I believe they reached a little bit on David Wilson, but uh, in my opinion, it was a good draft, not a great one. For the New York Giants, I'll give them a B. Let's hit on the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Dallas Cowboys went with Morris Claiborne in the first. They traded from 14 to 6 up with the Rams to grab him. And then after that, I mean, I know they, they addressed more defense and offense. They went defensive end in, in Tyrone Crawford, outside linebacker in Kyle Wilbur. And then they went defensive back, wide receiver, tight end, inside linebacker. That, that That's how they went. Overall, um... I did not see too many eye-popping picks besides Morris Claiborne. I believe Morris Claiborne will, will fit right into that defense. Um, and actually putting uh, their draft a little bit aside here, um, when since they did draft Morris Claiborne, they're going to have him on one side. They're going to have Brandon Carr on the other side. And um, what's going to happen to Mike Jenkins? So the, they might trade Mike Jenkins now that, this, now that they went up and drafted Morris Claiborne. But addressing their entire draft... Um, it wasn't too many eye-popping picks, anything that stand out, stood out. Um, Kyle Wilbert, outside linebacker, could be an impact player because uh, some of their guys on their defense uh, are aging. Some of the guys aren't returning to that to that defense at li in the linebacking course, so that pick could make sense for them. But I'll give them a B-. Uh, the Redskins, you can take the Redskins draft two ways. You can say, hey, they got their quarterback of the future. I don't care what draft class they had. This was the best draft they had just because simply of Robert Griffin III. Or you can say, hey, I know they drafted Robert Griffin III, but what? who, who are the other guys they drafted? If you want to go, I'm going to give you guys a grade early on this. If you want to go with Robert Griffin III and just, just because they went with that, you can give them a B. If you want to look at... All the other guys with that they drafted, like Josh Larabius, the outside, the offensive guard, um, you're protecting your investment um, with, you know, with, in Robert Griffin III. But that's about all they really did. Uh, you went with Kirk Cousins, another quarterback. You know, that's causing controversy. I'm not going to hit on that right now. There's no time. Um, that caused controversy. Uh, Keenan Robinson is probably the only other guy that made sense because there are some of their guys in, like London Fletcher, um, some other guys. Are aging in their linebacking core. I know they have Kerrigan, who they just drafted last year, but um, you know they had another offensive guard, a running back, an offensive tackle, and a couple defensive backs. Free agency was their bright spot, not the draft, I believe, in this year, except for like I mentioned, Robert Griffin the third. So I'd give them a C plus. The winners of this NFC East was in the the Philadelphia Eagles. I give them a solid A. They filled in so many needs at the at D, on defense. It was incredible. Fletcher Cox, he fills in that whole that defensive tackle in the middle Michael Kendricks at inside linebacker that was a true hole they had they could not find that inside linebacker spot all last season they were getting run on uh, play after play um, uh, last season then you had Vinnie Curry defensive end that was a solid pick Nick Foles at quarterback he could be the the backup for Mike Vick this year 
Brandon Boykin. I was so impressed with Brandon Boykin watching tape on him. I wanted him for as a Green Bay Packer, but that didn't happen. The Eagles went with Brandon Boykin. He he does everything. Watch tape on Boykin. I love that pick. Then you had a couple guys that will uh, fill in w with depth, being Dennis Kelly, the offensive tackle, Marvin McNutto, another wide receiver who could be like a fourth or fifth uh, number number of four or five wide receiver on that roster, and then they went offensive guard and running back. Overall, I believe the Eagles had the best draft in the East. I really loved their draft. Um, but that's all I really got for you guys for the East. Um, uh, I should be bringing you guys the rest of the six divisions sometime soon. Um, but like I mentioned, that's all I got for you guys. I'm out. <laughs>